I'm starting out by priming my skin and I'm using the Model Zone Mattifying Face Base and yeah, just massaging it into my face. Then for foundation, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I applied way too much. You definitely don't need this much product. I just went a little bit overboard. I forgot how full coverage it was. So just keep that in mind if you do purchase this foundation. It's super full coverage. Then I'm using the Tarte Pro Glow palette and I'm just taking the cream contour shade from the palette and mapping out where I want my contour to be using a Sigma F61 brush. So yeah, just applying it to all of those areas and then I'm going back in with my damp beauty sponge and just blending it all out. This sponge is from Rimmel too, by the way. Then moving on to the eyes, I'm priming them using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, this one is in light sand and I'm just blending it out using the same sponge. Then I'm setting my eyelids using the Technic Cosmetics Translucent Powder on a F64 brush from Sigma. Then going into the Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette, I'm taking, I think it's the shade called Toasty and I'm just buffing this with an E40 into the crease. Then I'm taking that deeper brown from the palette and I'm just starting to do the same thing but build it up in the outer corner as well. And I'm bringing it all the way into the inner portion of my eyes. Sort of wanted that colour to be everywhere. Then I'm taking this beautiful matte olive shade and I'm using an E25 and I'm just starting to pack this onto the outer corner and the inner corner and join it up in the crease so that it's a halo effect so just leaving the center of my eyelid blank pretty much. And then here I'm going in with the MAC Cosmetics Eye Pencil in the shade Undercurrent, which is this beautiful green shade. So I just applied that to the center of the lids and blended the edges using an E56. And then I'm taking the shade Fool's Gold from the Sigma palette and just using my finger to apply that to the inner part of the lid. This is so gorgeous, this colour, but it does have a lot of fallout, just so you guys are aware. Then I'm going in with a black pencil just to tight line and also do a little smudgy line along my upper lash line. And then I'm going in with my E25 again and just applying more of that olive shade just to kind of build it up. I really should have kind of packed it on more because the inner corners didn't have a as much as I wanted but anyway then I'm using the new benefit mascara it's called the bad girl bang which I do really like and then I'm applying the Klepke lashes in the shape in the style I mean Mykonos then I'm so sorry about my face parts not being in focus it's really bothering me but there's nothing I can do about it now um, I'm concealing using both the Tarte Shape Tape and the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. So as you can see, I sort of applied the Bare Minerals one to the center of my face and then a little bit under my eyes and the Tarte one mainly under my eyes. This is going too fast. Then I just set everything in place using my translucent powder from Technic. Then I'm taking the Makeup Geek Contour Powder in the shade Bad Habit and I'm using an F23 from Sigma and just using that to contour and bronze up my face. And the spots where I went a little bit heavy handed, I just used my sponge just to kind of blend it all out. Then for blush, I took the Benefit California blush, which I don't know why I haven't used this in so long because it's so pretty. And for highlight, I used the Gerard Cosmetics Star Powder in the shade Grace and I just applied it with an F03. And this powder is super pretty. I really like this highlight. And then I set everything down with my Algenis Splash Setting Spray. Then to finish up the eyes, I'm taking that light brown shade once again and using an E40, I'm just buffing that underneath the lower lash line. Then taking the olive shade on my E25, I'm doing the same thing and just really smoking it out. Then going back in with the MAC pencil in undercurrent, I'm putting this in my waterline and also applying this to sort of the inner portion of my lower lash line. 
um, just smudging it all up in there. And then I took the shade Fool's Gold once again on an E30 pencil brush and I just applied that over the top. And then just to brush away any fallout, I used my F50 brush and applied some lower lash mascara. And then to highlight the inner corners, I used the MAC Vanilla Pigment. Then finally for lips, I used the Rimmel Lip Pencil in the shade Tiramisu, which is such a gorgeous color. And for lipstick, I used MAC Velvet Teddy. And I don't know why I didn't own this earlier because it's so pretty. But that completes the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry it was so quick and all over the place, but I will see you in my next video.